The Honeycomb, a maze so terrifying, so confusing, it will make our contestants wish they never signed the paperwork to appear on this show. And for the start of this new series, there's this thing in the maze as well. Some sort of turnip, I think. Actually, it's an ancient spirit object that gives the owner invincible powers. That's what the Thai shopkeepers tell tourists anyway. Anyway, the contestants have to rescue it, avoid the guards and make it to the safety zone. If I were a betting man, I'd bet that this is going to end badly. March is up first. He's into that maze. This is scary. It's like wandering around the Overlook Hotel in The Shining. Or, even more terrifying, the lingerie section of the department store. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. It was research. Honestly. March is going round and round like a fidget spinner. He's totally panicked, like a vegan who's wandered into a butcher's. Finally, he locates the giant turnip thing. And heads for the exit. Well, I say the exit, I mean any exit. Here's Bean, who must wish she could beam straight into the room with a giant turnip, rescue it, and then beam back out again. What a Star Trek movie that would be. Star Trek, the search for the turnip. I'll send a memo to JJ Abrams after I'm finished here. Meanwhile, Bean's using good old-fashioned leg power to get to the turnip. Her sensors indicate it's close by. And she gets the alien life form slash turnip and escapes to the red mat of safety. She'll be feasting on the turnip soup of champions tonight. Next up, we have Dream, who's already in the house. And he's discovered a bit of the turnip that Beam left behind. Does that count? I'm hearing from the Takeshi referee that it doesn't. That's one for the pundits to discuss. Meanwhile, Dream's having a nightmare, as everyone called Dream on this show seems to do. It reminds me of a dream I had last night, in which I managed to get through a whole show without making a terrible joke about a contestant's name. I'm sure it's a dream we all share. <laughs> oh, he's really lost the plot there. He doesn't seem to want to pick up the giant turnip, which is understandable, but that is the game. I think he just wants it all to end. Luckily, the two demons can help with that. Sweet dreams! 